So I'll talk, start talking about the, the armor. Um, now, uh, quite a big um, predominant helmet, which is called the Sparring Helmet. This is banded helmet in German. Now, they would be made from these, these bands that form up a kind of conical shape and um, they would have um, these side guards. Maybe a nose guard, but this was quite unpopular. Um, a lot of stony helms didn't have a nose guard. Um, so, oh, I, have <laughs> I've, I have a few variations of these double stone helms you can see on the front and the right hand side, something that looks very similar to the Sutton Crew Convict. Um, and at the top there is just kind of different angles of that. They usually had a male hat and tail. Um, so mercenaries and noblemen would probably only be able to afford this, this kind of equipment. Um, and professional warriors. Uh, but this, this kind of helmet, that, that kind of takes its roots from the Sarmatian through a steppe people, you know, across the Ukraine area, um, right into Russia and Kazakhstan and Kazakhstan and those areas. Um, and the Alani who migrated right, you know, right into Africa and, and Spain and they came from Ukraine, so they really took quite a distance. Um, and I would say that this is quite a bad representation of a Spanish army. Uh, the guy on the, on the uh, left hand side there and on the right hand side is more of an accurate representation of what it looked like. Um, so these, these, uh, these people, they looked after their equipment, they were made of mud and rust and you know, they, they kept themselves 